Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to Hey Insiders. Happy Tuesday. I am super excited to introduce you guys to Kamal Obed, the CEO, I hope I said that right, the CEO of Nebula Genomics. Um, Kamal, I'm going to give you a second to talk about you and about Nebula. Insiders, if you have any questions, we're going to go through, I'm so excited about this one. We actually are a minute late because I got caught up in learning. Um, so Kamal is just a wealth of information about Nebula Genomics. We're going to talk about the affiliate program um, and some things that they have upcoming. So if you have any questions, you can drop them below. I see people watching this now. Let me turn this off. Yay. All right. There's Sarah. Awesome. Um, okay. So Kamal, thank you again for taking time to do this. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about you and uh, kind of how Nebula Genomics all kind of came to be? Sure. Yeah. So I am one of the founders and the CEO of Nebula Genomics. Um, I've been working on Nebula since around mid 2018. Um, we're a direct to consumer genetic testing company. So think of us similarly to 23andMe and Ancestry DNA. Um, we essentially, you can come to our website, you can buy a DNA test, we ship it to your house. Uh, we collect a saliva sample, you ship it back to our lab and we process it and give you a report and results. Um, we spun the company out of George Church's lab at Harvard Medical School um, with the idea that we wanted to bring more powerful genetic testing to market and to consumers. Um, so when you think about like the household names in genetic testing, you're, you're mainly thinking about the names I already mentioned, 23andMe and Ancestry DNA. What most people don't realize is these companies are using a genetic testing technology that's really, really old, that's decades old mm -hmm. at this point. Um, and their technology is so old that it can't actually read 100% of your DNA. So what they look at is they look at around 600,000 letters in a genome, which is 3 billion letters. So imagine you were reading a book and you were only reading every 5,000th word in the book. Um, you wouldn't be able to get, get a good understanding of what the book was actually about and the information it was conveying to you. So that's kind of how these existing genetic tests work today. At Nebula, what we wanted to do is partner with George Church, who is um, kind of the biggest name in personal genomics, invented a lot of the genetic testing technologies in his lab at Harvard Medical School, and bring technologies to consumers where we can actually decode 100% of your DNA. So we're generating thousands of times more data uh, per individual uh, with our genetic test. We're doing what's called whole genome sequencing. Um, and before us, it was prohibitively expensive for consumers to get access to this. And this was a technology that was really only accessible to researchers, pharmaceutical companies, and things like that. Uh, that's amazing. And you guys do all of this. It's a, there's a private, it's privately done, right? So can you talk yeah. to us about your privacy? Yeah, so we're, we're a, one of our main tenants of the company is, is being a privacy focused genetic test. Um, so our business model has never been to monetize data. So for a lot of other consumer genomic companies, the product's really the data. It's not the DNA test they're selling. So they, they're willing to sell you genetic tests at a loss and monetize that data with pharma companies, et cetera. Um, and make money that way. So we don't do that. We don't monetize data. We don't share data with third parties. Um, we, we've built a lot of technology focused on uh, storing data and co computing on data in ways that are privacy preserving. Um, and we make sure our users always have 100% control over their, their genetic material, their genetic data, and it'll never be shared with a third party without your explicit consent. I love that. With with all the privacy stuff that is going on right now across the board, you guys were really ahead of the curve on that. So that is that's awesome. Yeah. Um, so okay. So there's a deep genetic ancestry component. I was going through the site. Can you tell us like what those results look like and how they would differ from the other like tests that you mentioned? Yeah. So. Um... So our report is very, very different than what you'd get from, like I mentioned, some of the household name genetic tests. Um, so back in the day, 15, 20 years ago, when these other companies were getting started, the predominant belief in genetics was that um, you have single genes uh, that influence single traits. So that's kind of why these genetic tests would only look at small parts of your DNA and they would see if you had the gene 
that would influence a trait. So for instance, is there a gene that gives you blue eyes? Is there a gene that makes you tall? Is there a gene that gives you a higher risk for disease? Over the past decade and a half, it's become more obvious that the way genetics work is that there isn't a single gene that affects one trait. Instead, there are many, many genes, all of them having a small effect on a single trait. And this is what we call polygenic risk. So what our test was really focused on doing was how can we build a report that's not looking at one gene, but in, instead giving you, since we look at 100% of your DNA, we do whole genome sequencing, um, gives you a full understanding about how all of your genome and all of your DNA is contributing to different traits. So these can be things like, what's your genetic risk for obesity? So unlike the other companies, we don't look at one trait. We look at many, many traits and sum up your overall risk for getting obese during your lifetime. Or what's your risk for heart disease, your genetic risk, and how does that compare to the rest of the population? Um, or even more benign things like based off your genetics, how, how tall are you likely to be? It turns out that's not one gene, that's small effects from many, many genes. So that's what our test is for. So a big part of our test is built around these uh, polygenic risk scores for a bunch of traits. Another part of our test is around ancestry, which is something that customers are really interested in. Um, so when we wanted to, when we built our ancestry product, we wanted to provide something that was very unique and uh, enabled by the technology we were using to do sequencing. Um, so we have a product called Deep Ancestry. And what we do is we look at two very particular parts of your DNA to understand where you came from and where your ancestors, ancestors came from. So we look at your mitochondrial DNA. Um, so you might remember from high school biology that you know the mitochondria is the, the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> yeah, so you, if you guys remember that, your, your mitochondria, interestingly, has its own genome. It has its own DNA that's separate from yours. And your mitochondria only comes from your mom. So we can sequence, we sequence that mitochondrial DNA and we're able to tell you, you know, where did your mom's side of the family came from, come from? And that's something that's possible with our whole genome sequencing since we sequence all of the DNA. So that's one part of the deep ancestry. Another part of it is we look at your Y chromosome. Um, so if you remember, if, if, if you have a Y chromosome, if you have a Y chromosome that comes from uh, your dad, and that Y chromosome will tell you where your dad's side of the family came from. So we do Y chromosome analysis as well, if that's available. Um, so that's kind of what's different about our genetic test compared to 23andMe or Ancestry DNA. It's really focused on these subsets of your ancestry that are unique with deep sequencing and whole genome sequencing. That's why we call it deep ancestry. It's not the same information that you typically get from a consumer genetic test. That is so neat. And I... I never would have thought that you like one side would be one part and one would be the other. That is so, I feel like I'm back in like biology class. This is amazing. So you guys are more focused then on, on the health and wellness really than the ancestry yeah. side. Um, yeah. So we're, we're, we're building more ancestry products, but really the strength of our test is focused on um, health and wellness. Um, so like I mentioned, it's become more and more obvious that health and wellness is polygenic there aren't single genes that are having effects on your health in 99% of cases. Most of the time, it's many, many genes with small effects. So we go through the literature, we go through research, we have our own team of scientists that for specific traits, whether it's obesity, whether it's height, whether it's difficulty sleeping or sleep apnea or risk for migraines, all these types of things, we, we take all of the genes that are associated with those traits, whether it's a positive association or a negative association. We look at how strong the association is, and we provide you with a single summary statistic, a single number that kind of tells you, you know, based off your genetics, you're at a higher risk for this, or you're at a lower risk for this. Um, and it compares you to the rest of the population as well, for you to understand what your relative risk is compared to the population. This is by no means a diagnosis. Um, we're not, we're not giving anybody scary information. It's just information that you can use to optimize your own health or your own wellness. So for instance, if you see that you might be at a higher risk for obesity, it doesn't mean you're going to be obese. It just means that based off your genetics, you're more likely to be obese if you don't eat healthy and don't exercise. Um, same with, uh, you know, the, the risk of heart disease. It doesn't mean you're going to get heart disease. It just means if you don't eat well and don't exercise, you're at a higher risk for heart disease than the average person. So all of these things are very actionable and avoidable risks that you can 
uh, mitigate. We're not telling you anything scary that's unavoidable or, or t telling you that you're going to get a disease or something like that. That's not what the purpose of our test is. Right. Well, that's really neat. I mean, you know, because I, I've been in kind of the health and wellness space and um, dieting as a, you know, <laughs> middle-aged woman trying to lose a couple pounds or whatever. It's interesting because I did meet someone who was like, well, your genetics may have a part in this. So no amount of, you know, exercise or whatever, like I was doing things wrong because she's like, I think it may be genetic. So this could be the kind of test that I could use to, to kind of figure that out. Yeah, exactly. And we have, we have a report on metabolism. Um, so you can actually look at, you know, what your genetics are saying about your metabolic rates and the different hormones that could affect your metabolism. Um, so all of these bits and pieces about your health and wellness, you can understand using our test. And what's really interesting is because we do whole genome sequencing, um, we're even looking at the parts of your DNA that we don't understand yet. So as that research comes out and as scientists learn more about your genetics, we're able to update your report. So we update that report every single week. So that's something that's not possible with the other genetic tests because they kind of pick and choose what parts of your DNA they want to see ahead of time. So as new research comes out, well, it's a shame they can't actually access the other parts of your genome that they haven't looked at. But we sequence 100% of it up front um, at a cost that's, that's you know, for the first time affordable to consumers and provide effectively a dashboard for your health where you can keep up to date with the latest research. That's awesome. Um, well, so it was next on my list and, list and Anna asked, can you explain the differences between the basic and the deep test kit? So there are three different kits to choose from, right? So can you kind yeah. of just run down of the differences between the three? Yeah, so we have a basic, a deep and an ultra deep. Um, so what these refer to is the depth of sequencing. So what the depth means is uh, effectively how many times do we proofread your genome? So when you're doing genetic testing, mistakes are frequent. So kind of the gold standard for genetic, for whole genome sequencing is what's called 30X. That means we read over your genome essentially 30 times. So we're very unlikely to make mistakes on identifying, you know, what variants or differences you might have from the average population. Um, so the basic deep and ultra deep are, are uh, they kind of correspond to the relative accuracy of each of the tests. They're all whole genome sequencing. The ultra deep is something that's really for power users and people in like the rare disease space who want to take this data and they want to go to a clinical geneticist or genetic counselor. Maybe they have an undiagnosed disease. That's, that's really for power users and isn't for most people's use cases. Um, the 30X is our best selling product. That's uh, kind of our flagship product and is the, the, that, that is what is, is essentially considered clinically accurate. So as the, the, as, as good as you need of accuracy for pretty much all the use cases that an average person would want to see. The basic is a cheaper product um, that gets your feet wet, is accurate in 95% of cases, but has less accuracy in, a, in those rare 5% of, of cases. Um, they're all whole genome sequencing. We kind of compare the basic one to a 23andMe-like product um, in terms of what, what uh, accuracy you get while everything above that is is clinic is what's referred to as clinical grade for the genetic testing. Okay. And you said the thing about the every week or things being updated. Um, is that a subscription or how does that work? Yeah, so we have a subscription. Um, so we sell the genetic test essentially at cost up front and we have a subscription. Um, so 50% of our users pick a lifetime subscription. So that's depending on the product, it's like around $200 for the lifetime subscription. Um, and the rest of our users do either a monthly or a yearly subscription. And that gives you access to the weekly updates. Okay, okay. Um, we've got some questions here. Sarah asked, do you think you guys will ever come out with a pet whole genome sequencing test? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, there's a few pet uh, consumer genomic companies. I don't think any of them are doing whole genome sequencing or next gen sequencing. They're kind of using that older technology that I referred to. Um, we've got a lot of interest in doing like dog sequencing, for instance. We don't have any plans currently on the roadmap. We might do it in the future. We've had some customers send us saliva, their dog saliva in test tubes. And it doesn't, doesn't work actually. It doesn't work with the, the like preparation methods we have. But um, 
it's something we've thought about. Uh, we don't have a firm roadmap. We don't have it on our roadmap quite yet, um, but I wouldn't be surprised if we do that in the next couple of years. That would be cool. I have a, an adopted pup and it would be fun to see what, because mm -hmm. I don't have, don't have any history on her. So yeah. that would be awesome. Um, Kelly said, is it easy to take a test? So this is just a mouth swab, right? Yeah, so when we started, it used to be um, what's called a spit kit. So kind of like 23andMe, where you have a test tube and it needs to spit in it. And our users found it really difficult to actually generate enough saliva to, to like get to the, the top. Um, so now we just do cheek swabs. So that's really easy. You just get a, a swab, you swab the inside of your cheek, you put it back in the tube and ship it back. So it's, it's, it's pretty easy for everyone to do. You got you to gotta kind of get it wet, though, right? Like you kind of... Yeah, so what we do, we actually give you two uh, cheek swabs just to make sure we get enough DNA. So you just swab one of them and then swab the other one and almost always it's, it's fine. Perfect, okay, awesome. Um, yeah, well, I think we've gone over everything product-wise. Insiders, if you guys have any questions and I think uh, if Kara is here um, to drop the link, we're gonna talk about the affiliate program specifically. Um, although we got more questions. So, Hey, wait, more questions. How long does it take to get your results? That's one of our questions. Yeah. Uh, so it's right now it's supposed to take around eight to 12 weeks to get your results from when you ship it back. Um, we did have delays at the beginning of, of this year. Um, but generally now we're seeing that it's about eight to 12 weeks to get the results. Okay. Um, and Anna says, what areas, what areas from the data from the test kits should we highlight when promoting to our audience? Okay, I was like, wait, what? Um, what? And that's kind of part of it we were gonna get to is kind of what, what do we want our affiliates to know? What would you like them to promote most about the kits? Yeah, I think having customers um, or potential customers understand that these are you know, radically different technologies than what they're used to today. So this is full whole genome sequencing. It's something you, you would do one time in your life and you'd, you know, want to use this data for the rest of your life, essentially. This is something you could potentially bring to a physician in the future or a genetic counselor in the future. And we'd have your whole genome readily available for them to access. So that's one big detail. It's a big differentiator is why would you spend, you know, a similar amount of money for, a, a, a really small, small subset of your DNA when you can get your whole genome sequence uh, for the similar price. Um, but I think we typically want to focus on the health and wellness aspect of our report. I think that's where we're strongest, strongest and we provide substantially more information than other consumer genomic companies um, just because of how the field of genetics has progressed, where at mo most health and wellness traits do end up being polygenic. So we provide a lot more accuracy when it comes to those traits. I love that. Um, we had a question. Can you gift the kit? Yeah, definitely. Um, so we have a lot of customers who, who gift the kits and um, the holiday season is one of our most popular times of year um, for people to purchase kits. And so basically you just sign up and ship it to your gift giftee, right? Yeah, exactly. You can ship it directly to them or you can ship it to yourself and just give it to them. There's nothing you need to do to transfer it over. Okay. All right. Perfect. Um, I love all the questions. Okay, so the affiliate program um, it is run exclusively on the ShareASale network. We love, love, love ShareASale. Uh, earns a 12% commission on any orders tracked and has a 90 day tracking gap. So that is super generous. And also, you know, with such a great price point, that's a great earnings opportunity for our affiliates. Um, speaking of that, we do have the option for our affiliates to test the kit themselves. Um, so that's also super generous of you. So you can, our affiliates can you join the program um, and we have where you can test your own sequence, get your own sequencing for $1. So that is, that is exciting. You can email Kara at apogeeagency.com uh, and she will get you fixed up. Um, let's see, are there any other questions? Kamal, is there anything that you we've left out anything that you want to share that, that you think um, would be beneficial for our affiliates to know? Um, no, I think that generally sums it up. Um, yeah, one thing I mentioned is for the, the test kit, we, we give affiliates the opportunity to try out the basic kit for free. Um, the report is identical 
to the, or for one dollar, yeah, the report is identical for the the basic kit, the thirty X and the the ultra deep. Um, the only thing that's different is, like I mentioned, you know, the edge cases for for how accurate it is. So if it's not something you're using for like diagnosing a disease, it's fine to use the basic. The report is exactly the same. So if you want to do a review, um, uh, you have the exact same features in the basic kit. I love that, and it is. I love that it, you give our uh, our affiliates the opportunity to to try it out, to talk about the whole process and to really kind of see for themselves, you know, because as you're talking to your audiences, you want to be able to speak to like the whole, whole kind of customer journey. So I think that is awesome. Well, we have wrapped it up a little bit early. So thank you again so very much from all for joining us. Um, Kara has dropped the link to join the program. Uh, insiders, if you have not already joined this program, go ahead and sign up with that link. And if you're interested in doing the review for the $1, um, oh, that's right. We actually have a form for that too. See, Kara's doing so good. Thank you so much. Um, and we will get this recording up on our YouTube. And if you guys have any further questions, you can drop them um, and we will make sure we get those answered for you. So Kamal, again, thank you so very much. Insiders, have a great rest of your week. Yeah, thanks for having me.